Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisette, aka the Paint by Number Lady, and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to prep my canvas for my diamond painting challenge. It's the Josephine Wall canvas. I use this hanger to store it, so I just put this in my closet. Um, I'm going to get another one because these ones, these clips, aren't really um, good. Right now there aren't any drills on it, but later on, <laughs> when the drills are placed, it's getting heavier and heavier. I've tried to hang a card fairy dust like this uh, once it was finished and that didn't work. So I need to get better ones, but this helps to keep it straight. Right, so what I need to do right now is to put washi tape on this strip over here. And it's across the entire canvas because, look, there's glue, but the drill field starts here. So in order to protect my canvas while I'm working on it, I need to put washi tape on it. So, I've got two rolls and I'm just going to work and show you. Oh, and one thing I forgot when I did the unboxing, look what was inside my packet as well. <gasps> Aribo macht Kinder froh und erwachsen ebenso. Little gummy bears and they're a bit uh, sour. Uh, So, that's nice. I just found them in the box. Okay. So you guys, this canvas is really, really sticky. Um, just to give you a comparison, it's a lot stickier than Diamond Art Club canvases, and those are quite sticky, I think. Okay, so let me show you. I started there. Right to the end. So that went well, everything's taped up. I only needed like this amount so I can kit up future <laughs> diamond paintings as well. Okay guys, how am I going to tackle this one? Well, so um, I'm going to start with a small part just to check it out. So one, two, three, so over here. One, two, three, so I know I want to start here, and then one, two, three. Okay, so I'm going to start with this part. Okay, how am I going to go about that? Well, as you see, there are a lot of different symbols and I've got four boxes like these. So I'm going to dedicate one box, I'm going to empty it 
and then I'm going to put the colors that I see here in there and then I only use that box for this session because I don't need all 220 colors for this part. So I'm just going to check and bring you down just to help me out. Right guys, let's see how long that takes. Right, so the first one is an A. Sorry, bring it back up again. I've got my list with symbols. I'm just going to look at the A. I already found it. Uh, where? 319. So I know that I need 319. All right, that one I've got. So I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to check for the next one. The next one is an... Right, so I'm going to check for the next one. The next one is a, this is an, maybe you can't see it on camera, but in real life it's easy to see. That one is an I. At least that's what I think I make out of it. Ah, I found it. I'll bring you back up. Right, uh, the eye. That's that's this one, three eight four seven. Right, three eight four seven. That's another box. Three eight four seven. So now I have two. I have that one and I have that one. Okay, this is going to take forever. Well, I'm just going to work it out and then you'll see me back when once I've organized it, okay? Okay, just to give you an idea, you saw the time lapse. These are the colors that are needed for this part. Oh, sorry. <laughs> These are the colors that are needed only for this row. So this tiny piece over here. And I'm going to check for this and this as well. And I think I'm going to need an entire box for it. So, so right guys, I got them. And I did need my light pad because some of the symbols were a bit difficult to read. I almost made a mistake, I didn't put them down. But with this and this on the canvas, I thought it was this one. And then later on I said, oh no, there's this one as well. So in this little <laughs> piece of the entire canvas, there are already 49 different colors. I counted them, you guys. 49, look, here they are. I'm going to put them in one box and then I'll show you. Right, so I put them all in one box. I didn't put them by number, you guys. Maybe <laughs> in the future when I feel like it. And I know that I can use this box for this piece. And I don't have to go look for the symbols in four different boxes. So that's how I'm going to start out. I don't know if this system works. We'll just have to see as we go along. But the canvas is prepped, the symbols and the tic-tac boxes for the first <laughs> tiny piece have been organized and that's how I'm going to go about it. So, <sighs> okay, this took me some time. <laughs> 
but I'll get used to it, I think. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching my canvas prep, or what do I need to call it? The diamond painting prepping. I'm ready to get started. I'm really excited. It's a bit daunting, um, I must say, because there really are a lot of symbols in such a tiny part. So I've got a long, long way to go, but well, that's just part of the fun. So guys, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.